Okay, tonight we'll be putting the ball joint on this 08 Dodge Caliber, and uh, they listed the ball joint at 295 for a whole lower control arm. Don't let them fully into that. They do. Um, most Chrysler dealers will stock an aftermarket, which you can only get through them. But if you're having that trouble, there's the part number right there. I hope it turns out. And it's only $189. Sure beats, uh, there's the dog. Carly. Sure beats, uh, $295. Okay, let's get her jacked up and get the tire off. Okay, remove the bottom pinch bolt. And I'm having trouble removing this whew, lower ball joint out of the, out of the, the pinch, uh, mechanism and the, yeah mechanism in the spindle there's a slit right here um, sometimes you can put an air chisel in there and a chisel and open that spread up <laughs> but I'm not gonna be able to get out of there I don't think anyway um, so I have to get the pinch bolt removed you may have to use a pickle fork and break this this the the, the pinch bolt free on the ball joint to the spindle anyway get that out next much we yes, you guys are gonna see anyway kind of like that um this is why we never use a pickle fork when you just uh pulling parts apart because it does rip the boot and after time water will get in there and uh wreck it put it that way once you have the bolt freed up you can get a big bar like i have here and i'm just praying down like that till it's out next we'll go after this inside bolt here comes from underneath. I can't remember what size it is, but anyway, we'll go from there. So the next two bolts are 13 16 or 21 millimeter equivalent. There's a nut on the top, and if you get lucky, you can do it with one hand. I'll be able to show you. I can't see what I'm doing here. Something like that. Okay, the same deal on the front bolt, 21 millimeter, and give her. Now, I thought this one was like a PT Cruiser where we had to remove the front motor mount, but this one, it was a lot easier that way. But it still probably take you a better part of an hour. You get this nice unit out. Now I pulled down on it and pulled that. Now you kind of, kind of, you can see the mount on the inside's even pulled out. The rubber piece, and I bet you the other side's like that too. That'll cause a clunking noise too. That rubber right there, it's starting to uh, separate. Um, now the lady that owns this car, she's not very happy with Chrysler Canada. It's only got seventy-five thousand on it, and it's all wore out two outer tie rods, a ball joint, and the, the inside bushing, and the struts are a little bit wet. I mean, that's not many miles at all. Just off warranty. Anyway. So there's the part number once again, in case it didn't turn out the first time. Now it's always to hold, it's always good to hold the new one up to the old one, to kind of match it up, and make sure you got the right parts. Um, and most of them will come with this plastic uh, boot guard just get rid of that right now you just want the rubber one on there okay reinstallation we'll put the this end up first and it might be a little bit harder going back in I'm gonna need two hands because a lot of times you gotta use a hammer to so uh, and I've even ground that down once in a while so it slides between the two has already sprung this way from the bolt um, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down put this up there and hammer it back into place and then it will be as simple as pivoting this back into place there now I recommend putting the bottom back bolt in first before you try to put that front back in um, a lot of times you can use a screwdriver and look to the top after how well that's going to turn out and kind of line the hole up first before you try to put that bolt back in there because without doing that you'll be here in for trouble <laughs> I'm going to put the camera down again. 
Okay, to line that cockeyed bolt up the back, I had to actually pry up on the A-arm to get the right angle so it would go through the top of the hole. Um, the front one was kind of tricky too. I blew my air line so I got the hand bomb it from here. Um, and I put the bottom pinch bolt back in. Pretty simple now. The worst part was lining the bolts up. So Anyway, go ahead and hand tighten everything back. I put the wheel back on. That's basically how to change the A-arm in this thing. Um, I thought, it, like I stated before, I thought it was going to be like a PT Cruiser where I had to move the front motor mount, but I got lucky here. It still took quite, but it's still going to take better part of an hour to do anyway, so. Okay.